hence limit the capacity to gain insight. What long-term lessons does the baby retain from spankings and other blows? The baby learns, first, that a child does not deserve respect, second, that good can be learned through punishment, which is actually wrong. Punishment merely teaches the children to want to punish in their own turn. Third, that suffering mustn't be felt. It must be ignored, which is dangerous for the immune system. Fourth, that violence is a manifestation of love, fostering perversion. Fifth, that denial of feeling is healthy, but the body pays the price of this error often much later. How is repressed anger very often vented? In childhood and adolescence? First, by making fun of the weak. Second, by hitting classmates. Third, by annoying the teachers. Fourth, by watching TV and playing video games to experience forbidden and stored up feelings of rage and anger and by identifying with violent heroes. Children who have never been beaten are less interested in cruel films and, as adults, will not produce horror shows. In adulthood, first, by perpetuating spanking as an apparently educational and effective means, often heartily recommended to others, whereas in actual fact one's own suffering is being avenged on the next generation. Second, by refusing to understand the connections between previously experienced violence and the violence actively repeated today. The ignorance of society is thereby perpetuated. Third, by entering professions that demand violence. Fourth, by being gullible to politicians who designate scapegoats for the violence that has been stored up and which can finally be vented with impunity. Impure races, 